Okay, we are now ready to start um, writing the functions for our drivers. So I'm going to start doing that here. And um, the first uh, function we're going to write is uh, to, co to configure um, to configure the, um, the, the, the pin that we're going to be using, right? So let's call it config pin, right? Because that makes sense. At least in my world it does so the first thing we're gonna type it I mean we're gonna type it. we're gonna give it is a GPIO type now don't get this GPIO type def confused with GPIO type that we have here there are two different things this is our structure that we're gonna use to fill in different settings and this GPIO type is this right here these these GPIO or a B C's those are GPIO types, okay? Um, and you can right click on that and you'll see it defined as itself um, a register with all the registers of the um, actual GPIO peripheral, okay? So that's two different things and it's called port. Um, well, you can call it whatever you want, but I've called it port, but you have to dereference it, okay? You have to type the little uh, asterisk sign here to dereference it. Um, okay, so so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna first pass it um, the port. What port is the pin that we're configuring, right? Um, obviously, the next number we're gonna pass it is the pin number. So pin is the pin number that we're configuring, and um, the next thing we're gonna pass it is the pin mode. What is going to be the pin mode for whatever pin we are configuring? So those are the three, um, basically the, the three uh, parameters or argument. I've always get the two confused that we're going to give to our function. Um, okay, so now we're going to go to our C file and we're going to go ahead and type this function up. All right, so um, actually I'm just going to copy it so I don't have to type it all again. Okay, so starting our function right there, right? Okay, now what this function is basically going to do is it's going to configure everything in that con in in here. We're going to configure this right here. We're going to see if uh, we're going to basically pass it these settings right here, and we're, we're configuring these these. Uh, the second two bits with the, the CNF bits the configuration bits now remember we have high register and a low register so how do I know which register we're gonna configure um, basically we're gonna just a little simple if statement we're gonna look at our pin number and if our you know what I said I wasn't gonna type this crap out so uh, shoot draw copy so here is our um, Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to look at our, our pin number. And if our pin number is greater than 8, then obviously we're going to go into the high register. And if it's not, we're going to go into our, what the hell am I doing? Into our low register. So, just to, um, oh, what's, what is it? Control high register. So I register else if it's not greater than eight, then we're at the control low register. Okay, so once we know that if we're gonna be in the high or low register, what do we do? Well, now we need to look at our um our our next thing, which is uh mode type, correct? Or or pin mode. Wait, what what did we call it? config pin pin mode and then in C config pin mode type hmm, that's very interesting let me pause the video for one second okay that was a blink of an eye sorry I was just uh, looking at something in my code I didn't understand and for some reason in my code I had named this variable something different I called it um, mode type um, which makes sense and you'll see why in a second so I'm going to change this uh, right here to mode type 
and we're going to go to the h file where we define that function and change it there also to mode type because we're really looking at the mode type as you can see here um, we've had it as we already well if it's output you know what output so what mode type and what type of input mode and in this one is where we're going to configure either input or output so um, so what type of mode so that's what we're going to look at next it's um, well what what type of um, what's the mode type so instead of going if mode type is this if mode type is that we'll go to, with the old <laughs> switch case correct so and uh, what we're looking at is that mode type right um, and this helps me keep track of my uh, semi of my uh, curly braces now I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this and I'm gonna break it down to you or break it down for you okay so this is what I've um, okay so you see how it says GPIO I didn't call it GPIO I called it port so instead of uh, fuck it let's just call it port then port port because I've made certain changes when I'm typing it here as opposed to where I'm copying and pasting it from my previous um, my uh, previous typed up version okay so basically we're, we're we're checking the mode type okay and um, for this function and if, if the mode type that they're, they're gonna set it to is output or if it's input analog which remember they hold the same value so output general purpose is zero zero and input analog is also zero zero um, if it's either one of those then we're gonna and and uh, complement a one shifted into the CNF bit position one that we did before and a one into the CNF bit position two so we're gonna put a, a one here and a one here and then we're gonna complement that which means it's gonna be a zero and we take that and, and we end it and it I'm sorry and that's what's, what's gonna be input there and then we do the same thing for the uh, for the remaining um, for um, for output open drain you see how I have an or for the ones that match so floating input and output nope floating input and output open drain are both uh, one so those two so if um, mode type is either output open drain or if mode type is input floating then we're gonna shift a zero into the CNF bit position two and we're gonna shift a one into CNF position one and by this logic you can obviously see what I've done before and this one doesn't have an or because this is the the um, this right here is output function open drain which is the fourth option right here and as you can see this one doesn't have a fourth option so there's no need to or with anything else so it's that just oops just that one okay um, so that's that and basically if pin number is greater than 8 we're doing all of this right here right um, however and that means that we're writing to this to the control high register however the code for the control register for the control low register is going to be exactly the same except we're just going to write to the control low register why the hell am I getting all these errors now? Oops, I didn't include the switch. Silly, 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 silly me. Okay, so yeah, so now this is all going to be the same. We're just going to change these H's to L's. L, 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 and L, 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 L. So that's the only difference. Uh, for the, um, the if statement here so if, if our pin number is greater than 8 greater or equal to 8 we're gonna do all of this into the high register or else we're gonna do all of this into the low register 
uh, output and input modes, right? Okay, so that that's that. That's um, basically that's just the first function. That's just to configure the pin as uh, um, to a specific type of mode within a selected mode. Now, um, right now I'm debating if I should make this into one or two videos. Let's go ahead and make it into two uh, to one video. Fuck it. Bucket shit on the bucket. Okay, now the next function we're gonna type is uh, to configure the um, the pin speed. Okay, so I'm gonna just copy and paste this time. So we're gonna go back to our H file and we're gonna define our second function here. And it's gonna be called configure pin speed or config pin, sp pin speed. Uh, let's keep the naming consistent, so let's call it port. Uh, we're going to pass it a port type, right? Uh, a port, what port are we working on? What pin number are we working with? And we're also going to give it, um, we're going to actually tell it what pin speed we want, right? And uh, ultimately, this is where we're going to say, do you want it to be in input mode or in output mode? Okay, so here's your function. Pause this shit, copy, paste it, do whatever the hell you want to do. Let me make this bigger. There you go. It's big now. Okay, so now let's go to our C file and let's write that function up. Uh, some spaces here. Uh, and here's my pre written function. Yada yada. Copy, paste. Voila. Now let's see what it does. So here's the, uh, the the header for our function. Um, okay. So now we're checking. We're gonna do the same thing as before. If pin is, is number greater than eight, then we're gonna go to the high register. If it's not, then we're gonna go to the low register. And again, the code is identical except for the H's and the L's. Okay. Now, um, this one I called it GPIO, but let's go to now we gotta change all this crap to port, port, uh, port. Oh shoot, port. Oops, port, uh, port, and port. Okay, now let's see what this does. So now we're checking after we check what pin number we're in, whatever. We're checking um our mode. So if the mode, if they put input mode right and you see how I've typed in input mode because we have this defined in our H file so we can just right click uh, go to definition what is it input mode we have it set to, to the number two and remember I told you it doesn't matter what we set these numbers to because we're just gonna put run them through an if statement as long as they're different so it doesn't even matter what the number is we're just checking that if mode is equal to input mode that means if they passed it this argument when they called the function right here, then do this. We're gonna go to our port to the control higher register, and this right here tells me we're gonna put a zero everywhere there's a one. So we're gonna put a one into the um, pin position, pin number, and pin number corresponds with whatever pin number they're putting here. So they put in pin 13, we're gonna put a one, or since it's being complemented here, a zero into that the pin position for that pin number okay because remember we made that array where the pin positions elements in that array equal the first bit position of these this mode register okay so now we're filling in this mode register not register freaking those little two mode bits okay so we're putting uh so if they have input mode we're putting a zero and a zero into that pin position, the first pin position, and then we're adding a one uh, in this one, in this shift, because we're gonna put a, uh, a zero here, and then we add one to get to the next position, and then we put a zero here. So we're putting zero, zero, if, they're, if they select input mode, which is right here, zero, zero. Correct? Correct, Eddie, okay. Now else, that means if they didn't select input mode, that means they selected one of the other modes, which were these right here, um, right here. Oh, you know what? Instead of putting a one, 
No, I had to put a one actually. Yeah, I'm sorry. See, that's why this was redundant. I mean, we didn't even have to do this crap. We can just delete it because you can't really shift a, a one and a zero into something. So, and, and I can't put a one and complement it because this is already defined as one. Um, so now this are uh, the other options they could give us. So, um, so if they don't choose input mode, then go back to that control high register. This time, um, put this number pin speed and pin speed is right here. And again, when they call this function, they're going to type in this, they're going to type in this or this or this, which is equivalent to these numbers. So let's say three. So then we're going to shift, uh, a three, let's say. Um, to whatever pin position uh, that is okay so I hope that makes sense and um, and this is identical but except it's in the control low register so that configures our uh, our pin and I hope I can I, I made that make sense because I know it, it can be confusing and I'm not exactly a teacher so and you can raise your hands to ask questions, but you can leave comments and email me, whatever you have to do. And um, I will get back to you really promptly because I get these things on my phone. So, and this is not a, you know, million user blog, so I don't get 10,000 emails. I don't get any emails, but whatever. So what I'm saying is you can email me if this doesn't make sense or if I need to clarify something, okay? Um, so that's that, okay? We have the function to configure our pin, the function to configure the speed, and the basically the mode for our pin. Let's build this and hope we don't get no damn errors. Two warnings. Something was declared and not defined. Some other crap was declared but not never referenced. That's fine because we haven't used any of the functions yet. Okay, um, now, in the next video, I'm going to try to limit these to 20 minutes. In the next video, we're going to write the functions. And that one's going to be quick. They're like two or three lines. Let me look at them right now. Yeah, those. that's going to be like a 10-minute video probably. Um, that um, video, we're going to write the functions that we actually get to use in our main to do all of this stuff. Like GPR, like write, like, you know, digital write this or whatever. If you're coming from, from Arduino world, you know what I mean. Um, so we'll write the actual function that we can use to, to set our pin high or a function to set the pin low or a function to toggle the pin, you know, so these will be the actual user functions. Okay. Alrighty then. See you then.